fellow congregants that we I pray for all for everyone who is in this house dear Lord please bless them and please give me the strength to deliver your word to your people in Jesus name I pray amen, amen. you can take your blessed seat I would like to welcome you all in the name of our mighty Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I welcome Mama Kosli, Baba Kosli, Rev, and Mama Rev, our pastors, our deacon, our elder, and all the congregants that have attended our service today. Amen. First of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Nutula Maf. They always call me Mrs. Muff. I'm Miss Muff, not Mrs. Muff. <laughs> Amen. I'm the mother to Junior, Goni, and the granny to Tagalo. Uh, I would like to thank Pastor and Mama, Mama Postle and Baba Postle for giving me this opportunity to stand before you. As you can see, Vasanani. <laughs> When I'm happy, I cry. When I'm sad, I cry. So I would like you to bring it to me. I'm so honored to give a pamphlet today. My theme for today is about love. We can open our Bibles in Matthew 5. Verse 43 to 48. Because I'm calling our office, I would like to read in your version, I'm Leila, and putting your understanding on. But now I tell you. Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may become the children of your Father in heaven. For he makes his sun to shine on bad and good people alike, and gives rain to those who do, who do good and those who do evil. Love, Bazalan. Most of the times we inter misinterpret the word love. When we hear about the word love, most of the times we think it between the man and the woman. Yes, there is love between a man and a woman. But do we as congregants or as people in general love each other? Amen. This word love, Bazaran, it doesn't mean for two people only. It doesn't consider that you are small or you are young or you are old. In my sermon, I'll be very short because I'm not used to standing in front of you. But what I would like to remind you today is that we should love one another, Basalwan. We should always tell each other what is our turn. We have got kids in the houses, Basalwan. Do we tell them that we love them, Abantana, Beit, Basalwan? Amen. But these girls, these girl children, they need to hear the love from us, because there are cruel men out there. Because they've never been told at home they are loved, they think that is love. Mom, poor mama, the boys that we have here, remind them that you love them every day. There are cruel women there, oh mama, mama, old women. Just because we as mothers, we don't tell them everything that we love them, they think that is love. Utando Bazarani is not necessarily between a man and a woman. Us as congregants, Bazarani, we should show love to each other every day. Amen. I can see if we are not all here, has anyone take the opportunity or take time to check over to you. Mrs. Fis is not here, what is happening? 
that is love, Bazalwan. To realize with so and so is not a church. Check on them. That is what we call love, Bazalwan. I am not saying, Mina, I am checking everything for the church. I'm at fault also. I remember the other time there was a sister that was. They announced the in church that her husband was involved in an accident. I'm sure to say, Basala, I don't even know that sister. I don't, I don't know her. That means there is no love between us. If there was love, no, who is this very sister or which one her husband has been involved in an accident? Basala, let's show each other love. Let's show each other love, even if Umutu A is strange. Family members, Abaya as family members, as Kuminisan Bazalwan. Yet we claim that we love God. We come here at church and tell God we love you. When you are failing to love a family member, your own mother's daughter, your own mother's son, we are not talking to each other. You are fighting over a minor thing. And we are not talking to each other. Yet we come here in church and say we love God. There is no love in God if you don't love your brother and if you don't love your sister. Let's teach each other, Bazalwan. It doesn't necessarily mean you come to church, cry and praise God and dance and do everything. Love begins at home. Love begins with our neighbors. Love begins with our kids. Bazalwan, let's show love to everyone. Church members, let's pray for one another always. That's the love that God wants us to do. Workmates, Abraham seven zero zero two one years jail of living in Kudumis. Love them unconditionally, Bazalwan. Us as Christians, we should be the light. We should show those workmates that we work them that don't go to church. It is so important we should be the light and show them that if you are with God, there is no need for hatred. Bazalwan, hatred has destroyed a lot of people. You carry hatred towards a sample that doesn't even know that you hate them. Find someone saying, I want to like you feel. It's not for you to feel that person. It's for God to feel that person. Why should you feel him? Why should you feel him? Did you create that person? It's for God to judge other people. But the Lord has found someone who is no more to hang and feel. Just keep it to yourself and pray about it. As a Christian, we know where we hide. If I feel like I've gone wrong, pray to God about it. God loves us. He loves us unconditionally. He, he loves us irregardless. No matter how old, no matter how young, no matter how big, no matter how rich, God loves us the same way. Let's teach ourselves to be always loving. As we go to church today, did you greet the person next to you? Just a wave and a smile, Bazalwan. That is love. Someone next to you, that is love, Bazala. That's my that's my little wave. That's that's showing love, Bazala. Uh, neighbors. Sisalama flat in Bazala. I wanna we've been to the flats for five years, but you don't even know our neighbors. Uguti, you should know your neighbor, it doesn't mean you must knock on his or her door every day. We move in today, just go and know someone I'm the person who's going to stay next door to you. That is love, Bazala. So about when we came here in church, we never know maybe my kid would have Just because we don't speak to, 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 to our neighbors. Our neighbors are our first relatives, Bazala. We are far away from Bilas in Bazala. The moment I hear that my father is late Ekai. The first person who comes to console me is my neighbor. Amen. So, Bazalwan, let's learn to live harmony 
I believe your first relative is the stranger because the moment when I'm crying is the first person that will come and check what is happening. Strangers. I don't mind about other people. Yes, of course, we are living in a country where it's dangerous to, to trust the stranger. But there are some who you, who you see which is genuinely this person needs my help. But you need to know. It doesn't necessarily mean what you must um or something. Or may you want to be begging on the streets. Genuinely, you see that person is hungry. As a Christian man and It doesn't necessarily mean what you need my name. The pants in jail man, it goes a long way to a stranger that is hungry. You ignore that stranger, maybe he's the one who is supposed to be your salvation. God comes in different ways, Bazalwan. You will ignore that stranger, and say, no, I am too smart to attend to this. That is God talking to you about being nice, about being a good person. And that is love, Bazalwan. Love is a very important thing in our lives. We can do everything, but if we don't love, have love, it's nothing. Love is everything, Bazalwan. Uh, can we open our Bibles on in Ruth 1, verse 16 and 17? Ruth answered, Don't ask me to leave you. Let me go with you. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. Wherever you die, I will die. That is where I will be buried. May the Lord, Lord's worst punishment come upon me if I let anything but death separate me from you. In laws, Banga Gaba Kumsana La Woman Mazala. Avati, I love my mother in law. But I learned it's the small things that are going to use if I need it soon, Mazalan. Our in laws, Mazalan, as much and then let's show them love. Yes, how many of you can do like Ruth? Person says, Oh, I'm a man who landed up our penny. But Salon, if you are married, you are not there for your husband only. We are there for the whole family. You should love your in laws, Bazalwan. Your blessings come from your in laws, Bazalwan. If you love your in law, she or he is the very person who knows the person that you are there. Oh, we are not You can say you know someone, it's a man, maybe 30 years or 25 years. The mother or the father of that person knows that person better than you. Amen. So if you are not in good books with your in-laws, who is going to reprimand that person or saying I love? Amen. That's love, Masalwan. Let's show love to our in-laws. Whether small, young or what, but most importantly, the father and the mother-in-law. Those are the very important people that you should keep close to you if you want your life to be easy and safe as I want. Uh, in closing, I would like to say Baba Apostle and Mama Apostle, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. I know it was a short sermon for starters, maybe next time I'll make for five It was a very long week for me. <laughs> I've even lost weight. <laughs> I didn't think I would make it, but I've made it. Because the love of God was with me the whole week. And God prepared me for this. Thank you so much, Mazalwan.
Amen. Have a blessed week. Amen. Amen.